Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Future Stars Tanganga card to review today. Uh, there's two different variations for Tanganga's card. There is the right back variation and the left back variation. Uh, the difference between the two, I believe, is in work rates as well as the strong foot, right? So you can see that the left back, and I like that they did this a lot, okay? The left back has a left foot while being a medium high work rate of player with an average body type, while the right back card has a high, high work rate with a right foot, right? So uh, again, really like the concept of the SPC. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be a right or wrong option. It's just gonna depend on what you wanna go with the most because obviously when it comes to a card like Tanganga, we have to test him out as much as possible defensively, right? So a lot of people are giving him the anchor chemistry style, right? For the 92 acceleration, 99 for sprint speed while giving him some extra physical abilities, uh, which to be honest with you guys, I don't mind giving him to test out, right? But obviously for the meta of the game, it might be more ideal uh, to actually give him the shadow chemistry style for that extra bit of acceleration, considering the fact that his, uh, you know, physical stats are already very good with an average body type. So that's the important thing here, right? But Obviously, for the review, we will be trying him out with the Anchor Chemistry style to see what that's going to be like. But 5'11 height, really nice height. High, high work rates, right-footed, two-star skills, three-star weak foot. Average body type, okay? Uh, In-game player traits, he has the dives into tackles trait as well, which is great. In-game attributes, we are going to be working with 92 for acceleration, 99 for sprint speed. Shooting, uh, the card has no shooting uh, capability. So here's the thing about Tanganga, right, guys? super defensive card stay back while attacking you don't want to commit these guys too much so we're mainly going to be seeing what he's like defending for the most part right trying him out at center back right back all that kind of stuff uh his passing stats uh pretty solid for a fullback doesn't have curve curve is usually nice to have for some of the passes that you actually end up making but still pretty decent on the card with dribbling being as it is his transition speed should be pretty decent considering the fact that he does have that average body type on an anchor chemistry style, we will be boosting his defense quite a bit uh, to be in the mid 90s, high 90s, low 90s area. Uh, and then obviously with the anchor chemistry style, we're gonna be boosting the strength, aggression, and all of that good stuff. So uh, with this card, guys, again, this is a defensive review. So the way that the team is formatted up top doesn't really matter, right? We'll do forward runs, doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna switch him to center back for now uh, because again, the main thing here is to see what he's like uh, defensively. So yeah. Hopefully he is a beast. We're going to be trying him out. Nice. He adapts to that situation really well. Guys, when I do defensive review, I do uh, overcommit players like crazy to see how they kind of adapt to each situation. Forcing it out of them to see uh, how well they do. Yeah, that situation there, you can see that I switch off of the player because, again, I just want to test them out to see how they kind of react to those areas. Not bad so far, actually. Switch to him here. Nicely done. Good defending. Marking was fantastic the entire time and a possession-based tackle. Tackle? Oh, that was really nice, actually. I like when I press the taco button and an actual good animation comes out of it. Guys, the card is defending really nicely so far, I will say. Yeah, he switches to kind of like a three at the back there. Even when I was uh, out of position, I was, it was good that I got the last second pass off there, but he adapted well to me taking the ball there and him kind of just uh, running back into position as he should. Oh, that was good. You know why? I wanted to overcommit one space to see how fast he would accelerate back into position, and he did a solid job there. Guys, you know why? Because I tell you guys all the time for defensive reviews, the average body type is good to work with in the defensive positions. It's, it's literally one of the best ones, man. Oh, I actually almost scored. He is a uh, manual sprinting. Oh, he actually manually sprints good. Okay. 
Yeah, that's actually solid, man. With an anchor chemistry style, like that's the main thing that I'm looking at here. You know what? I might actually just keep the anchor on him. Oh, you know what? I was like, dude, am I going to score a tad Gago? That'd be amazing. Let me switch him. There we go. We're going to go right here. Then we have to catch him on the transition like so. And then, ooh, not bad, not bad. I'm going to switch off of him here to see how fast he tracks back. That's Kane on his high, high work rates. Yeah, gets back into position nicely. Guy's going to make a run. I'm going to cancel this if I can. Oh, I can't. I mean, it's good that you can't, to be honest. Good interception without me controlling him. Good stuff. In that situation there, I did notice that I would love to have a little bit of extra acceleration. Um, just for that uh, explosiveness, you know? It'd be, it'd be nice in a situation like that. But it's always about, like, how I generally feel about the card, right? It's like, is it worth having one thing over the other type of thing? Because, guys, the thing is, man, is that when you have, like, aggression and stuff, aggression and strength is fantastic to work with in a lot of situations for defenders. See, so I'll push them out of position right here. I'm going to use Romero. Back into position really quickly. Good. Nice, good stuff. That's me tackling as well, not like just letting El Trigger do it. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, uh, he's he's pretty decent so far. I like him. Very important that he has the average body type with the height that he has. Look at that. Possession base again, man. I right, push him out a little bit. Do this. Use this guy here. Not gonna defend with him at all. I mean, he did go for an animation at least while Loris blocks the left side there. Goes for an animation at least. I did time it incorrectly. I'm going to use him here too. Does go back into position quite quickly as well. Yeah, so that situation there, I wanted to see if he would actually slide challenge and then get back up quickly. Uh, didn't do it, but I might have mistimed the, the spam of it. Because when you spam it, that's when they actually get back up uh, really fast. There we go. Michael. Mistimed that one again. Yeah, so there's, there's going to be moments where I feel like I want the extra acceleration. For that initial explosiveness, for sure. Tracks back quickly again there. Nice. Initial tracking was great. Giving him that extra acceleration, definitely a plus, I think. Do you know what's funny? Is that I actually activated team press, which is why Tanganga is that high up. <laughs> and I was still able to score a chip with him. I, I got that ball and I was like, why do I have this ball right now? What? <laughs> Not why I have this ball, but why with him? Like, that's weird, right? But it's because of that team press tactic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to want the uh, extra acceleration on the card. The extra quickness, you know? You know what it is, dude? It's because of that average body type, right? Like, I feel like I can utilize his um, his pace a little bit more because of the fact that he has that body type. Like, it just makes him more agile with the dribbling stats that he has, you know? Use his body type, pass it upwards. There we go. Let me see what his dribbling is like because this is the right back version. Yeah, the dribbling is fine. Again, when you use a card like this, like if you're actually going to use them as a right back, most people do use stay back while attacking for their fullbacks anyways. Um, with a card like this, he's just going to be a very solid defensive presence in your team for sure. A 
block there. I missed the initial one from my own miss, uh, mistiming. It's unfortunate that his uh, pace is set up the way that it is, because it would have been very nice to give him an anchor for those extra physical capabilities, considering that he's pretty good at everything else, right? Thank you, sir. Need to see the manual running here. Honestly, it wasn't that bad considering that the attacker was way ahead of him, to be honest. Oh, he actually still got that. Nice. Lose the ball, but get the interception. Oh, don't do skill moves with him. Just defend. Just defend with this guy. Maybe get a cross in? Yeah, no chance. <laughs> Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Tanganga card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, we gave him both the anchor chemistry style as well as the shadow chemistry style. Now, what I will say, guys, is that for the meta of the game, I do feel like and some people may disagree with this. I do feel like it's very important to have the pace to be as perfect as possible, okay? Because in the meta of this game, the law passes, the through balls, you need fast players, right? In his case, when I gave him the shadow chemistry cell for the extra acceleration, the extra sprint speed to work with, right? The fact that he's a 5'11 player with an average body type, it works well with the card. But you do notice the base stats of lower acceleration to the way that sprint speed is like the sprint speed is great when it comes to uh you know actually catching up to players once the acceleration part is done but you notice the base stats right so let's just say for instance uh with marquinhos like the team of the year card like we're talking about like defensive capabilities right with this card right with the dribbling stats that he has and whatnot on an anchor he has 95 95 but base stats was it was already at a 90 90 and you feel that when you give him the anchor because of how good his defense is, how good, how good his physical is, blah, 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 right? With Tanganga, you feel that initial acceleration. It's just a really weird thing, right? It's kind of like, okay, let me give you guys another example, like just defensively, right? But Kunde, for instance, right? 86, 86, okay, you give him the shadow, 96, 96, and you really notice that when it comes to running, right? Uh, because it's very balanced between the two. You notice the acceleration being lower on Tanganga from a base characteristic, right? Here's the thing, guys. When it comes to selecting both of the cards, it's really gonna depend on what you want the most. Because here's the thing, right? You're not gonna get this guy involved in the attack. Let's be honest, it's gonna be a stay back while attacking player. So the high, high work rates in that right back position is gonna be ideal on a shadow chemistry style. You'll, look, you'll be looking at a pretty decent defensive player in that area, right? But what I will say, guys, is do I like this card more than Trent Alexander-Arnold's card. I'm gonna say no, okay? This card right here, for instance, right? Especially nowadays with the card. On a shadow chemistry style, I think that this card, for a card that you can sell on the market, is significantly better, right? In regards to in-game quality, especially since he has that four-star weak foot to work with. But it's not only that, guys. This card defensively is just, is just amazing. And I, I'm gonna tell you guys why, and I, I guess this is the reason. It's because he has the unique body type, okay? So if we're going to be comparing right back to right back, right? I would go with Trent Alexander-Arnold. But then again, guys, there is a variable of the Spurs links because there's going to be some people that want to work with the Spurs links. Obviously, in Giyu's case, he's going to want to work with the Spurs link, right? And that's going to be the biggest variable here because what EA have done with a card like Tanganga is they have improved him to a point where he will be good enough in the meta of the gameplay. He won't be amazing in it, right? but he's gonna be good enough in it. That's gonna be the whole vibes of the Tanganga card. Like I said, defensively, I like the card significantly more on a shadow. With what I'm seeing so far, you unlock this card because you actually wanna use him as a right back and then potentially as a center back if you wanna rotate that in the future, or you potentially get the left back card, you know, being left footed, medium high work rates, which is way more meta for the game, Shadow Chemistry style makes more sense to use in the center back area. But here's the thing. You use a card like this at left back to defend as well. Still very good. So I'm going to go ahead and actually review the left back variation of the card too. To see if there's like a huge significant difference. Because medium high is more noticeable when it's for the center back area. Because usually when it comes to fullbacks, high high is nice to offer a little bit of attacking support. Blah, blah, depending on the play style that you want to play, right? But 
Um, yeah, that's my thoughts towards Tanganga. Like I said, for market value, I think Trends is better. He just, I, he's just a freaking monster, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but again, really like the cons of the SBC. I don't think he's overly expensive um, for what he offers in game. But if I was going to choose, I would go with the Trends card. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I'm going to go check out the left back card. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.